Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. I'm excited to have you guys with me today. So you know I like to highlight the food with these videos. So I'll be showing you my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner in the hopes of giving you guys some ideas on different plant-based meals that you can make at home. And I also like to include some of the activities that I do throughout the day, not only to keep the video interesting, but also to put all the food that I eat into perspective and to show you guys that you don't have to obsess about macros or eat this super boring plain food or even really sacrifice any of the flavors that you love in order to be strong, make gains, be healthy on this vegan lifestyle. So before I start this one, I just wanna really quickly thank all of you for the love on the video last week, that full day of eating where Crystal and I went out on a hike. We saw the fairies out in the forest and everything there. I put a ton of work into the editing and the filming and everything of that video and you guys recognized it and you let me know in the comments. So I just wanna say thank you so much for that. These videos are a ton of work, although I absolutely love doing them. And I'm surprised you guys aren't tired of them yet, but I asked you last video, I said, are you guys not tired? of these full day of eating videos and everyone said no we love them it gives me entertainment gives me ideas so I will definitely keep doing them so I just got to the park here today but this is not the start of my morning and I will bring you guys up to speed all right so pretty standard morning so far I just got up had some water stretched a little bit and then I actually had to oil the cutting board today because I had a look at it and it was like super dry. Uh, if you've never had a wood cutting board, you might not know that you have to do this, but every once in a while you do. I also had my beetroot crystals, which I absolutely love to have just about an hour or so before I work out. I find it gives me like great energy and good blood flow. And then I also did have some coffee too. So you guys know I have to be pretty careful with my caffeine intake, but I just make coffees like fairly weak, I guess these days, although I do love strong coffee. And I try and make it with like half caffeinated grounds, half uncaffeinated grounds. So usually they call that like a half calf. And then in the coffee, I just can't have it black. So I do have a splash of maple syrup and a little bit of soy milk as well and boy do I enjoy it. <laughs> so then I sat down, did a little bit of work on the computer, and enjoyed my coffee, hung out with the kitties a little bit, and yo, they were crazy this morning. They got into some epic battles, and I know it looks like they're like trying to kill each other here in these videos, but they absolutely love each other, and they just play like all the time. They're only a few months apart, so they're both kittens, and yeah, they just have a great time, and it's so fun to watch. And then that brings us here to the park. So I decided to come out here really quickly before I went to the gym today, just, you know, for a little different start of the vlog, but also because the weather has been so bad lately and we got a little break in the rain and I just wanted to like get out here and just experience some nature without it being rainy. Yeah, so I try not to complain too much about the weather, but like, Look at that <laughs> forecast for May. That's terrible. They always say like April showers bring May flowers here and it's just more showers in May. But as I say that, the rain actually just started. So I'm going to get moving a little bit and just do a few fun things around here. Go for a little jog, stretch my body a little bit and then uh, head to the gym, smash a quick workout and then head home, start making some food. So I have not been practicing my vertical in a while, but I used to be able to jump on top of this thing and it was kind of like my max height. So let's see if I can still do it. So it's definitely taller than I remember. It's like almost up to my shoulders. I don't want to slip on anything. <laughs> oh, close. cheated a little bit. So I definitely took advantage of like the missing stones right here. Couldn't quite get up to this side, but maybe later in the summer. That's tall. <sighs> All right, so I'm definitely good and warmed up. Feeling good too. That put me in a good mood. I love little challenges like that. All right, so I'm gonna head to the gym now and I'll see what I can film there. I don't have my filmer with me today. Crystal is a little bit under the weather, so I don't think you guys will see her in this video, but uh, we sure had a fun time filming last week's vlog, so there'll be more with her in it coming this summer, don't worry. Good, how are you? Good. 
Good. Are you having a good workout? Yeah. Nice. Just got back from my workout and I made this amazing smoothie bowl. So I know, no surprise there, I always have either a smoothie or a smoothie bowl after my workouts, but I just cannot beat this. For the amount that I enjoy it versus the amount of like nutrition that's in here and how it makes me feel and recover and everything, it's just unbeatable. So let me show you guys everything I put in here. So just starting with some bananas, and I actually went and froze these earlier today because I knew I wanted a smoothie bowl today and I didn't have any frozen bananas. So if you chop them up like this, they tend to freeze a little better. And if you have a blender that has like a hard time dealing with a bunch of frozen fruit, uh, chopping bananas up like this can definitely help it out a little bit. And then some frozen raspberries, frozen mango, a medjool date, some cilantro, gotta get those greens in there, but whatever you guys like, if it's spinach, kale, lettuce, bok choy, whatever it is, get it in there. And some flaxseed. So you guys know it's good to have some fats with each of your meals because it helps to absorb the vitamins A, D, E, and K because they're fat soluble. So might as well make it super healthy fat, full of omega-3s like flax. And then some turmeric and black pepper. If you know, you know. Why not put it in there? It can hardly taste it. So good for so many things. And I've also got some vegan protein powder from Viva Life. This is the vanilla and also some creatine. And these are both available now in Canada for everybody. I was always able to get it, but it's because I'm an ambassador, you guys know that. And then just a little bit of water. Remember, not too much because then you will have a smoothie. And there we have it, my absolute favorite post-workout meal. Of course, I did add some granola and some raspberries on top, along with some shredded coconut. Mm. All right, so I just sat down and I'm answering some comments here from the video last week from the vlog. And uh, I thought it'd be cool to like answer some of them here and to address some of them as well because there's some funny ones. Like this first one here is pretty epic. <laughs> so Alexander MacGyver says, pasta is peasant food which slaves have been eating for centuries as meat was scarce. It's just gonna make you carb addicted and crave carbs all day since the protein in pasta isn't complete nor bioavailable, you won't be able to build any kind of muscle on that either. Well, that's just wrong. And just because, let's say, pasta is an incomplete protein, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to, you know, get those lacking amino acids elsewhere in, you know, other parts of that meal or what I eat the rest of the day. So it's not important to have each and every single food that you eat be a complete protein. So yeah, that's not a worry. Peasant food? Eh, I don't care, I've been called worse. <laughs> and I won't be able to build any kind of muscle either. Wow. Huh. It's crazy, man. People's misconceptions about food are just nuts. So to go back to the uh, complete protein thing, pasta actually does have every single essential amino acid in it, as does every single plant food. You don't have to trust me, look it up. Yeah, some might be lower in some amino acids than other foods, whereas some foods are higher in some than others. So if you just eat like a variety, protein combining and complete protein, all that crap is just not a worry. And just in honor of Alexander, I'm actually gonna make pasta tonight and make some gains from it. <laughs> and I have this amazing roasted red pepper sauce to show you guys that goes on top. I love it, can't wait for dinner. <laughs> so Chelsea says, great video, just wanted to add my two cents by saying that light coconut milk is a waste of money unless it is significantly cheaper since it is just watered down. So may as well buy the regular one and just use less and add some water, saves on money and cans. You're wrong. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's actually right. Yeah, it's just watered down regular coconut milk. So, uh, you know, if you want to just buy full fat coconut milk, water it down, you know, to half or whatever it is, then there you go. You save some money. Thank you, Chelsea. And then Pete Franks, he says, great vid, guys. Derek, you've got to eat your crusts. Best bit. Well, I'll have you know what. I 
disagree. I used to think that the crusts were more nutritious because my parents told me when I was younger, that's the most nutritious part, you have to eat it. And then I grew up and I realized that the bread is just made of all the same ingredients, it's just the crust is burned, so it's not any better for you. I always like look alike, so Sasha says, has anyone told you that you look a little like New Zealand cricket captain Kane Williamson? <laughs> Great video as always, Derek and Crystal, thank you. All right, let me look this guy up. Oh, he's handsome. <laughs> yes, I definitely see it. He has got a nicer beard than me. Isn't that funny? Brother from another mother. <laughs> I love it. All right, so anyways, I better eat this before it all completely melts, and um, I'm gonna do a little bit of work on the computer, and then I'll meet you guys back in the kitchen and make some lunch. So I'm gonna make a really quick soup and salad combo for lunch. So for the soup, I'm gonna be having this golden cauliflower with green chickpeas and turmeric. It's so good, and of course, I'll add some extra veggies to it like I always do, and I always feel bad like showing, you know, like a packaged food in these full day of eating videos because, you know, I like to give you guys recipes and things that you can make at home. I don't always make everything from scratch and I'll often use like a can of soup or, you know, a can of chili or something as sort of the base, build onto it with some extra veggies and some seasoning and stuff like that and, you know, have like a salad or whatever on the side, which is what I'm doing now. So let me get this on the stove. So we don't have a ton of fresh veggies right now, so I'm gonna utilize these frozen ones. However, they're far too big for my liking. So I'm gonna cut them down a little bit. And you know what I realized the other day? I always bring my food over to the stove and I kinda of found this trick the other day that I could just kinda of scooch it in here like this. It doesn't look nearly as cool on camera, so I'll probably keep doing it that way, especially when I have my camera woman with me. I just remembered I had these steamed potatoes that I made the other night. These are gonna be awesome on the salad. Probably could have gone in the soup too, but that's all right. All right, so I'm gonna make a quick tahini dressing to go with this, and I'm sure you guys know it off by heart right now, so I'll just whip through it like really quickly. This is my favorite dressing, so I just can't bring myself to making something else that I'm not gonna like as much. So I like to start off with a bit of water, and then some tahini. Usually about half tahini, half water or so is pretty good. So you guys know there's the three main flavors you gotta hit if you wanna make a good dressing and that's sweet, salty, and tangy. So here we go. For sweet, I'm gonna be using maple syrup. Could use a date as well. Agave, I suppose. Ollie! Oh baby, she wants to go outside so bad. That's her new thing, so we might go out after this. And then you need the salty component, so I'm gonna be adding this spicy sea salt called Herbamir, so good this stuff. Just a bit of that. Again, you can always add more at the end. And now we need tangy. So I'm gonna be using rice wine vinegar for that. Apple cider vinegar would work great. Balsamic vinegar, and then mustard. This is also gonna add a little bit of tang to it as well since there is vinegar in mustard. But what mustard does is it helps to emulsify the fats and the water so that they blend together and then they stay blended. And then of course you gotta add some flavor to it. So we've got some onion powder, garlic powder, and then just some pepper. And I just found this in the cupboard, and I think I'm gonna use this in here as well. And it's called basil masala. And it was actually given to me by, I think, a viewer, and it's called myhealingcuisine.com. It's gonna be really nice because the soup that I have on the go is definitely uh, curry flavored as well, or it has some curry in there. And then I always tell you guys, make sure you taste it before you dump it all over your food because if it's not good, you don't want to ruin like a whole dish. Mm. But it's good. All right, so I went ahead and added some chopped green onion to the top of the salad and then some sunflower sprouts on top of the soup. Sunflower sprouts are my absolute favorite sprout. If you've never had them before, definitely worth trying. Really easy to make as well. I mean, you just have to sprout sunflower seeds and you can even sprout the shelled sunflower seeds. You don't, they don't have to have the shell on them to sprout. It's pretty crazy. What's weird to me is that if you think about like a sunflower seed is like high in fat and then a sunflower sprout is definitely not high in fat. So at what point, where, like where's the fat go? <laughs> what happens there? 
All right, I'm gonna try the soup first. Oh yeah, I added some hot sauce as well. You can't go wrong with a little hot sauce on there. Mmm, wow. Yeah, that soup's so good. I wish I could make soup that good, dang. All right, better try the salad too. Definitely gonna get a bite here with some potato in it. Cold potato in a salad with a creamy dressing is amazing. I'm sure you guys know that though, if you have been eating for a few years like me. Yeah, that tahini dressing is unbeatable. All right, so I'm gonna go sit down and eat this, and then I guess I'll just meet you guys back in here for dinner. I always feel bad when it's just like, you know, meal, 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 and I don't do like anything in between. I don't know, I just imagine the vlog would be pretty boring, but I know most of you guys come here for the food anyway, so you probably skip through the other parts, but who knows? I might go outside and jump on the trampoline or something like that, see how quickly I digest this. And I know that Ollie, our older kitty, not that old, I mean, she's still a kitten, but older than now. Wait, speak of the devil, older than this one. <laughs> She's been getting to go outside lately with supervised visits because she's really good. She just likes to sniff around the yard a little bit and she's been crying to go outside. So I'll probably take her out there. And this little one here cannot be trusted without being on a leash because she just makes a beeline for the trees, like the biggest trees in our yard, and then just like climbs up them and just keeps climbing higher and higher and higher. I had to climb up like 35 feet the other day to bring her down. And bringing down this cat with all these claws from a tree she doesn't want to get out of is not fun. Quick, 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 quick. So lately she's been really enjoying chasing this. I don't know if she'll do it right now. We'll see. Oh, good cat. <laughs> good kitty. Okay, ready? And poor Polly, she has to stay in here because, because you climb trees. Come on. Okay, there we go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, see, look, she's got, she's got that look in her eyes. She's looking up. <laughs> yep, yeah, there you go. <laughs> look at her, she's crazy. And she'd just keep going up and up and up and up if she could. All right, that's it, you're done. All right, I'm gonna bring you back inside because you are too much trouble and I wanna jump on the trampoline for a few minutes before I make dinner. All right, dinner time. All right, so I'm back in the kitchen and I've already started by roasting some peppers. So these only took about 25 minutes or so to get to this point. And all I did was halve them and then I took out the seeds and the stems and then I just fired those into the air fryer. And I also put some garlic cloves in there too because roasted garlic in this dressing is the best. You could obviously put fresh garlic or garlic powder in there, which I might also put as well, but I'm not gonna make the sauce quite yet. First, I'm gonna saute a few things. And so I was thinking about this recipe and I was like, hey, I wanna have the pasta, I wanna have some sauce, and I need some protein in there. So what I thought would be good with this is these white cannelli beans. So I'm gonna saute these with some chopped onion and then also uh, I'll put some greens in there right at the end. And then I'm just adding some black pepper and some Italian spice to that just to give it some flavor. But this sauce is so flavorful, you don't really need too much on it. Oh, almost forgot to crack this. <laughs> so this is a nice little treat that I sometimes have. These little uh, unsweetened San Pellegrinos. It's kind of like a LaCroix or whatever, yeah. But it's pretty nice. I don't know about you guys, but I used to drink a lot and I, you know, still enjoy a bubbly beverage when I'm cooking sometimes, but you know, I don't want to get drunk, so. Now we're cooking. And then I almost forgot I wanted to put these tomatoes in with those beans and onions. All right, so let's make this roasted red pepper sauce. This is really the star of the meal. So I'm gonna pull some of the skin off here because I just don't like the like super burned flavor. All right, then into the blender with this. Oh my gosh, this looks terrible, eh? It just looks like <laughs> a lump of different colors. Speaking of flavorful, look how the garlic turned out. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. 
a teaspoon of onion powder, approximately a teaspoon, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. So I know that I already have garlic in there, but they definitely give different flavors, so I like to put both in. And then just a pinch of salt and pepper. And then just a small spoonful of tahini. I know I already used it in that other sauce today. And then just a splash of water. All right, give it a quick taste. Oh, mm, that's so good. It's a little bit thick and the flavor is really strong. So I might just add a tiny bit more water. And while the pasta is cooking, I just went through the mixed greens and pulled out all the spinach. So I'm just gonna chop this up and saute it just a little bit with the cannelli beans. All right, so here we have it and it looks amazing. Well, I think it does at least. You guys will have to let me know. But uh, I added some shredded basil on top and then also some, just this like um, red pepper seasoning that we have as well. You know, it would have been good if I sauteed some mushrooms with the beans and the onions and the tomatoes. That would be like over the top, but this is still really amazing. Um, I forgot to mention, but you don't have to have an air fryer in order to like roast the red peppers or the garlic, of course. I'm sure you guys know that, but I always get a few questions. Can I do it without an air fryer? And yes, just crank the oven up, fire it in the oven, and it'll be just fine. The best. <laughs> One of the best things I've ever made, holy crap. All right, so I guess that's probably the end of this vlog. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I have so much fun doing these, and I hope it shows through the camera, and I hope that you guys are entertained on the other side of the screen. So if you are, definitely hit the like button. You know it helps me out so much in the algorithm and all that sort of stuff. It tells YouTube, hey, this guy's doing good work. I recommend his videos to other people, and I would definitely appreciate that because I'm looking to make this channel grow. We're gonna hit a million one day, baby. It's slow, but steady. And if you have any questions on the day or you want to share some comments about the day or anything like that, definitely leave it in the comments section down below. I love reading them and it often helps to give me ideas on where you guys are struggling, the questions that you have so that I can tailor my content to the areas that you guys struggle with. All right, so subscribe if you haven't yet. If you have already, thank you so much and I will see you again with another video soon. Bye-bye. But this summer, I definitely want to learn some new things. Like, I just saw my nephew and he was doing a backflip and then rather than landing on his feet, he kept going and landing on his back. So like one and a half, I'll give it three tries. <laughs> Let's see. Ah! <laughs> almost got concussed, but I almost got it. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> Might not have been pretty, but I got it. <laughs>